afternoon, Eagles. It's Thursday, September 24th, 2015. I'm Lindsay Downey. And I'm Rachel Shepard. Today we have a sneak peek of the 2015-2016 Golden Girls, a homecoming video, and a trending Thursday. We also have lots of announcements for you all. Gage, what will you have for us today? Well, Lindsay, as usual, I'll have all of your daily sports updates and reminders of upcoming games. Zoe, what do you have for us on weather? Today may be cloudy, but rest easy because we've got some sunshine in our forecast for the future. But I'll have more on that later in the show. And we've got a packed show for you today, so let's get this show started. Your net news starts now. now. LMS presents the Canterbury Tales on October 2nd and 3rd at 7 p.m. in the Liberty Performing Arts Theater. Come and see these colorful medieval characters as they provide lots of laughs while having a storytelling competition. The show combines the humor of Monty Python and Saturday Night Live as the stories take a hilarious turn. Tickets are just $5 and are sold at LMS and online at showticks4u.com. Students, remember to order your class t-shirt before Friday 9:25. They are $20 each. There are special options available for Eagle moms, dads, and future Eagles too. Pick up an order form for North Nation Station or print one off on the LNHS website and return it with your money to the North Nation Station or Mrs. Hittner. Juniors and seniors, the following college reps will be here this week in the Counseling Center. Sign up on Family Connection, but you do not have to sign up for the lunch visits. Today, the U.S. Army is at lunch. Tomorrow, University of Missouri-Columbia at 2 p.m. Seniors, don't forget to sign up for your senior meeting with your counselor and complete the senior profile before your meeting. Links for these can be found on the counseling website on the front page. Be sure to type your name in the calendar and do not remove spaces that say no appointment. Use your laptop to show your teacher your calendar as your pass. A new school year means new team. So let's get a sneak peek at the 2015 through 2016 Golden Girls. on our technique. This year we're working on becoming a closer team. We're working on our showmanship. Give me your, give me your, give me your attention, baby. baby. I gotta tell you a little something about yourself. Thank you, Lindsay, for making that awesome video. I know we are all excited to see how the new Golden Girls are doing. Biology Club will host an informational meeting next Wednesday, September 30th in Mr. Billen's room 326. Please attend if you are interested in joining. Congratulations to Ying Chow for becoming National Merit Scholarship semi-finalist. To become a finalist, the semi-finalist in high school must submit a detailed application, earn SAT scores confirming earlier PSAT scores, complete a qualifying essay, and be endorsed by their high school. Hope Giddings has achieved recognition as a National Merit Commended Scholar. To be recognized as a Commended Scholar, students score approximately in the top 34,000 high scores on the PSAT slash NMSQT test. 
Reminder, team signups for the Super Eagle competition are due this Friday the 25th. Sign-up sheets can be picked up in the office or Miss Plaster's room. Calling all Liberty North artists, photographers, scholars, and hobbyists to submit their work for Eagle Hour Art Show. As a part of the Homegrown Homecoming Eagle Hour activities, Zico would like to give you the opportunity to present your art for representing any part of Kansas City to help us celebrate our culture. Any student who would like to enter their KC artwork must submit it to Mrs. Plaster or any art teacher by 8:10 on Tuesday, September 29th. Check your email for more information on the upcoming Spirit Week to know more about swing dancing, barbecue contests, and fun games. With next week being homecoming week, let's watch a homecoming video to get us all excited. We love Kansas City because of the barbecue. I love Captain. I love Kansas City because it's a safe place for my family to live. Great schools. I love the Chiefs, Royals. I love the zoo football. And it's just a great environment. I love Kansas City because of Plaza. I love Kansas City because of pulled pork. I like Kansas City because of Royals. I like Kansas City because we have the loudest fans in the world. I love Kansas City for sporting KC. We love Kansas City because of the football. I love Kansas City because of the art. I love Kansas City because Kansas City Royals and Kansas City Chiefs. This year for homecoming, we are celebrating everything great about Kansas City, from the sports teams to the agriculture to the barbecue to the jazz influence to the art. Monday is homegrown hoedown, so wear your cowboy attire. Tuesday is all that jazz or glitzy gold as we celebrate our jazz influence. Wednesday is red, white, blue, and barbecue. Thursday is Jersey Thursday, so support your favorite KC sports team. And Friday, wear your homegrown homecoming t-shirt. Friday night, make sure to come out to the football game as the Eagles play the William Christman Bears and for the crowning of this year's homecoming king and queen. Thank you, Kaylee and Luke. The Future Educators Association will have its first meeting during Eagle Hour on Monday, September 28th in room 810. Please see Ms. Taylor if you have any questions. Gage, what's new in Eagle sports today? To start off your... To start off your sports news, your Liberty North women's golf team faced their rivals Liberty last night. Although the girls played well throughout, they had a tough loss by two strokes. In other sports, our Liberty North women's softball team played St. Joe Central last night. Despite playing hard throughout, the ladies lost 4-3 to three in extra innings. In other sports news, our Liberty North men's varsity soccer team plays tonight at 6.30 at William Christman. So make sure to come out and support our team as they look to improve. That is actually all I have for your sports today. I'm going to go ahead and throw it to Joe for a trendy Thursday. Uh, thanks, Gage. As I'm sure you guys saw, the Hall of Fame catcher Yogi Berra passed away on Tuesday. He was 90 years old. Berra was only one of two catchers to win MVP three times and was a 15-time All-Star. In other news, Empire Season 2 kicked off last night at 9 p.m. on Fox. Jimmy Fallon also seemed pretty excited about the season premiere of his new show, Jimpire, a spoof of Empire. Also, Snapchat has made an update where you can add effects to your photos. These effects include a magazine cover, an angry face, a slap cam, a foggy scene, hard eyes, shattered glass, and crazy eyes. That will wrap up Training Thursday for this week. Zoe, what's the weather look like? Thanks, Joe. Right now, it's a chilly 69 degrees with partially with partially cloudy skies. Today we've got a high of 83 and a low of 62. Friday will be all over the place with a high of 82, a low of 58, and partially cloudy skies. So good luck deciding what to wear. As for Saturday, the clouds will finally give way to some nice warm sunshine, and you can expect a high of 81 and a low of 57. That's all I've got for your weather today. Now back over to Lindsay and Rachel. Thanks, Zoe. KNet would like to wish a very happy birthday to the following Eagles. Kendra Sears, Danielle Davis, Whitney Wilson, Brooke Leach, Morgan Hancock. If you have any suggestions for us or would like to be on air, tweet us at Kana underscore news. Tomorrow is Friday and it is finally the end of the week. We will see you guys back here tomorrow. But until then, we'll catch, catch you on, on the north, north side. side.